All right. It's going to be a real quick video. That's what I always say, and then it's a long one. Um, speaking words into existence or giving words power and stuff. Uh, the only person, well, God is the only one that can speak things into existence. Some of this has um, roots in Luciferianism and books like The Secret and Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, where it talks about like manifestations and, you know, like willing things into existence. Your words have power. Usually words that have power are negative words and they're meant to hurt people, you know, because, you know, I'm not against positive thinking or anything like that. I, I You should have a positive, you know, outlook on stuff. You know, it says in the Bible, worry for nothing. But it, I just kind of tell people, you know, people that don't know Jesus Christ as their personal savior, or have even those that claim to have a relationship with him, you know, when you think too much about, you know, and I agree that people need to help themselves and people need to get off their ass and pull themselves up and need to do shit with their lives and not be so weak all the time and, you know, think, you know, like, oh, nothing ever works out. Well, yeah, nothing does work out if you sit on your ass all day, you know. But after all of that, you know, stuff that, you know, there's got to be, you know, the ultimate is a relationship with him. So I don't ever look at my words like having power unless I'm speaking with authority about something that's, um, you know, biblical sound doctrine, which is my friend's YouTube channel. That's a plug for him. You know, go out and buy all his merchandise and send him all your money. Just kidding, Tony. <laughs> but, uh, you know, unless it's like theologically sound and it's, you know, in the scriptures, you know, and you can speak with the Holy Spirit, then my words have power for sure. But, you know, I could say, you know, all the time, like, I'm going to be a sex symbol. You know what I mean? I've been saying it all the time. It's not working. So, I don't know. I, I don't get too... Yes and no, you know, would be my thing. You know, don't get, don't, don't get too involved in self-help and positive mental attitude, which was a big thing, PMA because there's no future in it, you know? There's no eternity in it, I know that, so I'm just telling you. Um, I'm not against people that want to go that route. You're free to do whatever you want. I would just say that if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is my self-help book, the Bible is my self-help book, in all ways I acknowledge him, so I don't really have to open up a brochure or meditate or anything like that. I don't think Christians should be meditating unless they're meditating on the Word of God. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm not trying to be Mr. Um, Mr. Um, Debbie Downer, but that's just how I feel, okay? All right, sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm just kidding about that part.